At best kept secret 510 YouTube. Section 3 to 603. Tender of payment. Just showing resources. ARTI Cleese. History. Summary. Cooperation with Ali. News. The UCC Today. Uniform Commercial Code Article 1 contains definitions and general provisions applicable as default rules to transactions covered under other articles of the UCC. Article 1 was last revised in 2001, with a few minor amendments since then to harmonize with recent revisions of other UCC articles. View Article 1, General Provisions The UCC is a joint project of the Uniform Law Commission and the American Law Institute. Recognizing that drafting a combined commercial code was a massive undertaking, the ULC invited Ali to participate in the Cody Cation project, and the Ali board accepted the invitation in 1942. Over the next 10 years the two organizations collaborated at drafting meetings funded in large part by a generous grant from the Maurice and Laura Falk Foundation, with additional funding contributed from law RMS, banks, and businesses that recognized the need for uniform commercial laws. The Uniform Commercial Code UCC, is a comprehensive set of laws governing all commercial transactions in the United States. It is not a federal law, but a uniformly adopted state law. Uniformity of law is essential in this area for the interstate transaction of business. Because the UCC has been universally adopted, businesses can enter into contracts with condense that the terms will be enforced in the same way by the courts of every American jurisdiction. The resulting certainty of business relationships allows businesses to grow and the American economy to thrive. For this reason, the UCC has been called, the backbone of American commerce. The Uniform Law Commission was formed in 1892 in part to create uniform commercial laws. The Uniform Negotiable Instruments Law was approved in 1896, and soon enacted in every state. More commercial laws soon followed. The Uniform Sales Act and Uniform Warehouse Receipts Act in 1906, the Uniform Bills of Lading Act and Uniform Stock Transfer Act in 1909, and the Uniform Conditional Sales Act in 1918. The ULC of Siali took on the task of drafting a comprehensive code to provide guidelines for all commercial transactions in 1940. In 1942, the ULC and the American Law Institute joined in a partnership that put all the component commercial laws together in a comprehensive uniform commercial code that was offered to the states for their consideration in 1951. Pennsylvania became the first state to adopt the UCC in 1953, and every other state followed suit over the next 20 years. Uniform Commercial Code Article 2 governs the sale of goods. It was part of the original Uniform Commercial Code approved in 1951. Article 2 represented a revision and modernization of the Uniform Sales Act, which was originally approved by the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws in 1906. The Uniform Law Commission and American Law Institute approved a revised Article 2 in 2003 that was not adopted in any state, and was subsequently withdrawn by both organizations in 2011. Thus the 1951 version of Article 2 is the most recent of SEAL version. View Article 2, Sales. The UCC is maintained under the guidance of the Permanent Editorial Board for the Uniform Commercial Code, PEB, comprised of members appointed by the ULC and the ALI. The PEB, established in 1961, monitors developments in commercial law, recommends UCC amendments and revisions when necessary, and publishes of seal commentary to help courts interpret specie C UCC provisions. An endowment established with the original Falk Foundation grant funding and replenished with UCC publishing royalties is available to fund UCC drafting projects. Uniform Commercial Code Article 2A governs leases of personal property. It was RST added to the Uniform Commercial Code in 1987 and amended in 1990. A revision was approved by the Uniform Law Commission and the American Law Institute in 2003, but was not adopted in any jurisdiction and subsequently withdrawn by both organizations in 2011. Thus, the 1987 version of Article 2A, as amended in 1990, remains the of seal text. 
View Article 2A, Leases. ULC Statement on Central Bank Digital Currencies and the Uniform Commercial Code, ARTICLE1, GENERALPROVISIONS, ARTICLE2, SALES, ARTICLE2A, LEASES, Article 6, Bulk Sales, Article 4A, Funds Transfers, Article 9, Secured Transactions, Article 3, Negotiable Instruments, Article 4, Bank Deposits and Collections, Article 7, Documents of Title, 2010 Amendments to Article 9, Secured Transactions, 2012 Amendments to Article 4A, Funds Transfers, Article 5, Letters of Credit, Article 8, Investment Securities, 2018 Amendments to 9 to 406 and 9 to 408 of UCC Article 9, Secured Transactions, 2002 Amendments to Article 3, Negotiable Instruments and Article 4, Bank Deposits. Uniform Commercial Code Article 6 covers bulk sales, a topic many states have determined as obsolete. The original version of Article 6 was withdrawn by the Uniform Law Commission and the American Law Institute in 1989 and replaced with two options for every state to consider, replace Article 6 with a revised version 6, or repeal Article 6 entirely. The ULC recommends repeal, and nearly every state has followed that recommendation. View Article 6, Bulk Sales. Uniform Commercial Code Article 3 governs negotiable instruments. Drafts including checks and notes representing a promise to pay a sum of money and that have independent value because they are negotiable. An instrument is negotiable if it can be transferred to another person and remain enforceable against the person who originally made the promise to pay. The substance of Article 3 has its roots in the Negotiable Instrument Law RST approved by the National Conference of Commissioners on Uniform State Laws in 1896. That early uniform law was revised and incorporated into the original version of the UCC in 1951, and a further revision was approved in 1990. Finally, a set of amendments to UCC Articles 3 and 4 was approved in 2002. View Article 3, Negotiable Instruments. Uniform Commercial Code Article 4A provides a comprehensive body of law on the rights and obligations connected with fund transfers. It was added to the UCC in 1989. View Article 4A, Funds Transfers. Uniform Commercial Code Article 9 provides a statutory framework that governs secured transactions, trans a modern legal structure for the system of holding securities through intermediaries. The 1994 revision sets forth rules concerning the system through which securities are held specifying the mechanisms by which ownership and other interests in securities are recorded and changed, and setting out some of the rights and duties of the parties who participate in the securities holding system. View Article 8, Investment Securities. Uniform Commercial Code Article 5 governs letters of credit, which are typically issued by a bank or other financial institution to its business customers in order to facilitate trade. Article 5 was updated in 1995 to address advances in technology and modern business practices. View Article 5, Letters of Credit. Amendments to UCC Article 9 Sections 9 to 406 and 9 to 408 modify the anti-assignment override provisions, thereby excluding security interests in ownership interests of general partnerships, limited partnerships, and limited liability companies from the override provisions. Amended in 1999, 2000, 2001, and 2010. View Article 9, Secured Transactions. Greater guidance as to the form of the name of an individual debtor to be provided on announcing statement. View Article 9, Secured Transactions, Amendments to View UCC Article 9, Secured Transactions, Amendments to 9 to 406 and 9 to 408. The 2022 amendments to the Uniform Commercial Code address emerging technologies, providing updated rules for commercial transactions involving virtual currencies, distributed ledger technologies including blockchain, RDCL intelligence, and other technological developments.
The amendments span almost every article of the UCC and add a new Article 12 addressing certain types of digital assets DNED as Controllable Electronic Records, CERs. The amendments provide new default rules to govern transactions involving these new technologies and clarify the UCC's applicability to mixed transactions involving both goods and services. The amendments also contain some miscellaneous revisions unrelated to technological developments but providing needed clary cation. View UCC 2022 Amendments 2 Article 12 and the 2022 Amendments Guidepost https colon slash slash www.uniformlaws.org slash act slash u cash colon tilde colon text equals the percent 20 uniform percent 20 commercial percent 20 code percent 20 ucc the percent 20 interstate percent 20 transaction percent two zero of percent 20 business section three to 201 negotiation Lee greater than uniform commercial code greater than UCC article 3 negotiable instruments 2002 section 3 to 101 short title section 3 to 102 subject matter section 3 to 103 definitions section 3 to 104 negotiable instrument section 3 to 105 issue of instrument section 3 to 106 Unconditional Promise OR Order, Section 3 to 107, Instrument Payable in Foreign Money, Section 3 to 108, Payable on Demand OR at Definite Time, Section 3 to 109, Payable to Bearer OR to Order, Section 3 to 110, Identification of Person to Whom Instrument is Payable, Section 3 to 111. Place of payment, section 3 to 112. Interest, section 3 to 113. Date of instrument, section 3 to 114. Contradictory terms of instrument, section 3 to 115. Incomplete instrument, section 3 to 116. Joint and several liability, contribution. Section 3 to 117. Other agreements affecting instrument. Section 3 to 118. Statute of Limitations. Section 3 to 119. Notice of Right to Defend Action. UCC Article 3 Negotiable Instruments, 2002. Part 1. General Provisions and Definitions. Part 2. Negotiation, Transfer, and Endorsement. Guidepost https colon slash slash www.law.cornell.edu slash uke. Section 3 to 601. Discharge and effect of discharge. Section 3 to 602. Payment. Section 3 to 603. Tender of payment. Section 3 to 604. Discharge by cancellation or renunciation. Section 3 to 605. Discharge of INDORSERS and accommodation parties. Part 1. General Provisions and Definitions Part 2. Negotiation, Transfer, and Endorsement Part 3. Enforcement of Instruments Part 4. Liability of Parties Part 5. Dishonor Part 6. Discharge and Payment. Part 5. Default Up Part 1. General Provisions and Definitions. About Uniform Laws State Uniform Commercial Codes. Section 3 to 417. Presentment Warranties, Section 3 to 418. Payment OR Acceptance by Mistake, Section 3 to 419. Instruments Signed for Accommodation, Section 3 to 420. Conversion of Instrument, Section 3 to 501. Presentment, Section 3 to 502. Dishonor, Section 3 to 503. Notice of Dishonor, Section 3 to 504. Excused presentment and notice of dishonor. Section 3 to 505. Evidence of dishonor. Part 5. Dishonor. Part 6. Discharge and payment. Uniform commercial code toolbox. In my previous videos I showed you all how to maneuver through the US codes and CFRs.
Li greater than uniform commercial code greater than section 3 to 603. Tender of payment. Section 3 to 602. Payment. Up section 3 to 604. Discharge by cancellation or renunciation. Section 3 to 603. Tender of payment. If tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, the EECT of tender is governed by principles of law applicable to tender of payment under a simple contract. b. If tender of payment of an obligation to pay an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument and the tender is refused, there is discharge, to the extent of the amount of the tender of the obligation of an endorser or accommodation party having a right of recourse with respect to the obligation to which the tender relates. c. If tender of payment of an amount due on an instrument is made to a person entitled to enforce the instrument, the obligation of the obliger to pay interest after the due date on the amount tendered is discharged. If presentment is required with respect to an instrument and the obliger is able and ready to pay on the due date at every place of payment stated in the instrument, the obliger is deemed to have made tender of payment on the due date to the person entitled to enforce the instrument. Guidepost https colon slash slash www.law.cornell.edu slash uk slash 3 slash 3 603. To read more Google, this is not for educational purposes. I take you to my resources as a guidepost to dig deeper. This is knowledge and how our system as a whole should operate. According to these government websites and law, not my words, in order for real change sometimes you have to knock things down to rebuild things up correctly. Resources shouldn't always be a handout. If you give people knowledge now they have an opportunity to create and not be enabled which leads to becoming handicapped and codependent. Especially handouts where you still struggle. What's the point? To be grateful for crumbs. If you enable then handicap a society you now hold power over the individuals who you intentionally handicapped. It's called control. If everyone had the same opportunities I would believe more people in the hood would thrive. Most people on TV that our communities produced came from the hood. They were blessed with an opportunity to entertain us all we are grateful. But why are the hoods that produced these people not flourishing? Why are people not obtaining things they do deserve with hard work and dedication? You work for other people and struggle. Why not work for self? Fact of the matter everyone is a boss in my eyes. But all don't know how to move like or operate as a boss. And yet people still need an authentic opportunity. Just raw and uncut. By learning the system. You understand these principles, this is a game of monopoly in life, a game of your livelihood. So you either play the game or be poor but you have free will. Because you are able to obtain knowledge. If you decide you want to break law when you get caught accept your consequences. It's cat and mouse they have a job you have one job. Don't get caught. Rolling on the floor laughing allegedly the things I have seen my people are business oriented and creative. We survive so we come up with a way. We can operate clean and gain even more with the right knowledge. I show people daily, simple stuff like iron is free even though people charge a few hundred. If we can take some of our survival skills and turn them into business skills. We are going to eat, anyone for that matters. It's the time and energy you put out you will get back. 